it's Castle at Stiletto City, and we're here in the Stiletto City dressing area. It's one of my favorite spaces in my apartment, and I want to talk to you about some of my favorite things for October. Uh, I live in Los Angeles, and so October it's still pretty warm, but it's starting to get cooler at night. And so your wardrobe needs to kind of go through a little bit of a transition before we get into the winter months. Uh, now one of the things I'm loving right now are vests. Vests are a great way to kind of dress up a look. This is lace. Lace is huge this fall, especially black lace. It gives a little Spanish touch. And then I also have a faux fur vest, which I'll show you in one of my looks of the day blogs. This is a blue faux fur vest, and I love this. It kind of is a little bit edgy, and it makes things fun. It's also warm, so it kind of keeps your core warm. Um, but it's a great way to kind of funk things up in your wardrobe. Another thing I'm loving in October are shrugs. Shrugs are just little shoulder sweaters, and I think dancers used to wear them a lot. Ballerinas wear them over their leotards, and it's just basically sleeves, and it's a great way to kind of keep you warm and not cover up your outfit, and it's perfect for Los Angeles where it's warm during the day and then it's cold at night, so shrugs are a great option for that. And I also like them because they're small and you can either tie them onto your purse or just tuck them into your purse. They don't take up a lot of space and they're easy to carry around. Another thing I'm loving this month are comic book accessories. With all the superhero movies coming out, comic books are bigger than ever. And I've been seeing a lot of jewelry and t-shirts and belt buckles and different things. One thing that I have is this scarf. And this has the Avengers on it, who I love, and be wearing this when Thor comes out next month. And I can wear this in my hair, I can wear it around my neck. I'll show you some different looks with this. And I got this off of Etsy, and she has a lot of different materials. I'll put a link to her site in my blog, so you can check it out. For makeup, what I'm really loving right now is this Cinema Secrets Powder. I got this in a goodie bag at Fashion Week, and I put it on, and I swear, I looked in the mirror, and I was like, wow, my skin looks really great. What's going on? And I realized it was this powder. I've been trying a lot of different powders lately because I've been experimenting with HD looks and different foundations, and I have to say, this is the best stuff I've ever used. It makes your skin look really smooth and flawless and radiant. Uh, this is the Ultra Lucent Mineral Powder in Warm Light, and it's just awesome. I love it. Another thing that's really great in makeup right now is the color orange. I love orange anyway, but it's just a great transitional color for October because you're seeing pumpkins and the leaves changing. So you're seeing lots of orange everywhere. Um, I have on the China Glaze Orange Nail Polish. This is in the color That Away, and it's a really bright orange color. It's lots of fun. And then I also have on Obsessive Compulsive Lip Tar. And this is in the color Beta, and it's a bright orange, neon orange color. And sometimes I'll temper this with another lip tar color, um, usually Harlot, which is kind of a cherry popsicle color. And it kind of tones down the neon-esque of the orange in this. And sometimes I just wear it straight when I want something super bright, which I have on right now. And then I also love this Stila In The Know eyeshadow palette. And I've had this for a few months, and... I have to say, the colors are gorgeous. It's really creamy, buttery um, powders. They're all matte, and they go on. It's almost like a watercolor painting, really, really soft, but highly pigmented, and there's a nice orange color in here that's really fun for fall. Now, for accessories, one thing I'm really loving right now are big, bold statement necklaces. I got this set at Target, and I couldn't believe it. I went in there with a friend to buy deodorant or something, and this completely caught my eye. And it wasn't very expensive, and I just think it's a great way to add a little something extra to your outfit, make it a little bit more dramatic. And another necklace that I have is this metal necklace, and it just looks like shards of metal. And it's a great way to kind of jazz up an outfit. It's a little bit punky, and it just makes a really great bold statement. Now, one thing I saw a lot at Fashion Week were uh, spikes on everything, on the clothes, on the accessories. And so I have this spiky, blingy bracelet that's a lot of fun. It's um, alternating silver spikes and blingy spikes. And then I also found these fantastic spiky hoop earrings, which I'll show you in one of my looks of the day. 
And then I also have this leather spiked bracelet, which I actually have from high school when I was a bit of a punk rocker. And I just kept this all these years, and now I can wear it again because it's actually in fashion, believe it or not. Now, speaking of punk rock, my last favorite for October is this, if I can pick it up, gigantic Clash box set. This just came out, and I am a huge Clash fan. I have been since I was in high school. And my best friend's brother was in a punk rock band, and he called me and my friend into his room, and he's, we were just these little girls listening to pop music, and he goes, I want to blow your minds, and he put The Clash on, and I have not been the same ever since. So I've listened, listened to The Clash forever, and this set just came out. My boyfriend got it for me for my birthday, and it has every Clash album that was ever made, plus all of these uh, demos and radio interviews and behind the scenes tapes. It's just amazing. It's got so much stuff in here. It has these cute little anvil cases, these little boxes that have um, buttons and dog tags in them. There is a another box back here that has all kinds of booklets and things. Um, there are more cases that have stickers and just all kinds of stuff. It's just amazing how much stuff in here. There's even a poster down at the bottom underneath everything else. So I will definitely be getting a lot of listening pleasure out of this Clash box set in the next few months. So that's it for my October favorites. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll put links in my blog and in the notes below so you can do some shopping. If I can't find the links to the stuff, I'll put links to something similar. And if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel. I have lots more to come. So have a great October and I'll see you next time.